Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, and today I met with Kent Dane from the UC Cooperative Extension out of the Kearney Ag Center to talk about one of the greatest pest issues of the grape industry, that's vine mealybug. Uh, he talked about mating disruption and how that can be utilized as a great tool to get a hold of this ongoing pest issue. So today we talked a little bit about mealybug controls, and what I focused on was some of the softer controls. One of those is mating disruption. Now this is a program that was really started because of Jocelyn Miller. He's a pheromone chemist at UC Riverside, just a fantastic researcher, and he's developed, synthesized, and identified the pheromones for almost all of the mealybug species in vineyards. The synthetic pheromone for the vine mealybug tends to be so good, so effective, and relatively inexpensive to make that we are able to use this in a mating disruption program. The idea of using a pheromone for monitoring is that the female puts out the pheromone, it gets picked up by the wind, and the winged adult male mealybug will follow that plume of pheromone to the female where they'll mate. And so you put that synthetic lure, synthetic pheromone, into a trap, usually a delta trap with a sticky side, and the males go into it and you get an idea of how many males are in the vineyard which gives you an idea of how many females are in the vineyard. So that way you can base your control program a little bit better on pest density. They do this all the time with moth pests, they do it all the time with San Jose scale for example. Um, the issue with vine mealybug is that once the growers in the Central Valley get this pest they tend to be on a spray program rather than monitoring and determining what they need because they know they're going to have it each year. Well, we also can use this pheromone to control the pest. Mating disruption takes the idea of putting out a synthetic pheromone, but they put out a large amount of it. They put out so much of the synthetic pheromone that the male mealybug cannot find the female mealybug. And if the female doesn't mate, she produces a false ovisac. The ovisac is that waxy, um, that waxy area you see coming out of the back of the female mealybug and the eggs go inside that and they come out as crawlers. So what happens is she puts out an ovisac with sometimes some eggs but those eggs aren't viable, they aren't fertile. So we want to decrease mating and that reduces the mealybug density. Now we tested this years ago, we started working on this in 2003 the company producing the pheromone is called Sutera, and they had a sprayable formulation. We got about a 60% reduction in damage when we combined this with just a couple of insecticide sprays. At that time, we were using Admire and Applaud. What, what happened was that Sutera was going to market this for the organic grower. And for the organic grower, you need to have the formulation in a dispenser not a sprayable formulation. That's because when you encapsulate the pheromone, you put it in little beads that are sprayed out, those little beads are not registered for the organic farmer. When you put it into a plastic dispenser that hangs on the vine, there's no contact, that plastic is okay to use, so that's appropriate for the organic farmer. We tested this in Napa, Lodi, Sonoma, uh, Madeira, Fresno, Bakersfield, San Luis Obispo, all over. We almost always got the same type of result. It was anywhere between a 20% reduction and about a 50-60% reduction of the mealybug. This difference is typically explained by how many mealybugs you've got in the vineyard to begin with. If you have a lot of mealybugs, I see mealybugs, I've got a problem, and that grower decides I'm going to go a softer program, so I'm just going to use mating disruption with no insecticide, you have too many mealybugs for the mating disruption to work. That's because the mealybugs are clumped. You'll have thousands on one vine, and maybe 20 vines down the row, you can't find a mealybug at all. What happens in this situation is that the mealybug will, the male mealybug will emerge um, as an adult, a winged adult mealybug will come out of its cocoon, and a female mealybug that's ready to mate will be just millimeters away from it. That's like 1 64th of an inch. 
And so it doesn't have to use the pheromone to find that female. It mates. You continue to have a problem. So for this reason, you have to combine mating disruption with a pheromone. The lower the density of the millibug, the better mating disruption works. In fact, we did one study and we saw a 95% reduction on those vines where there were very, very few millibugs to begin with, and a 5% reduction on those vines that had a lot of millibugs to begin with. And that was all done in the same vineyard. So you've got to start low. You've got to combine it with other materials that you want to see reduce the male population. So Movento is one of our best products. We also see Movento work by keeping the millibugs from molting, from going from a second instar to a third instar, and that prevents them from going from an immature male, which looks like the female, to a mature adult wing male. So now you combine Movento with mating disruption, you get a reduction in the millibug density overall, and same thing with applaud, you get a reduction in the males coming out. There are fewer males, the ones that are out are having a harder time to find the females, so we think that this is a good combination in a soft program. What's happened recently is that Sutera has gone back to a sprayable formulation of the mating disruption. This is fantastic because this increases the point sources. Remember with dispensers, you put them out, the rate is about 250 per acre, so that means every other or every third vine. So with the sprayable, you're covering not just every vine, but you're covering all the different parts of that vine. And we think it might even have an impact inside the cracks and crevices. So now we are saying mating disruption works to lower the population for the millibugs finding the, the virgin female maybe two or three vines away. Maybe with the sprayable, it's even working on one vine when the density is low enough. So we're studying this. David Havlin, a, a farm advisor down in Bakersfield in Kern County, is also studying this, and we both are getting very um, good results. We're shutting down the traps. We're seeing a reduction in mealybug density, and now we're going to see what combinations of insecticides work best with this, what was an older program, mating disruption, and a newer program again because we're going back to the sprayable formulation. Thank you, Kent. Learn more about managing pests like vine mealybug in American Vineyard Magazine. If you don't receive it, subscribe for free today. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.